Welcome back to another video about a new free Excel template from Enzara.com. This time we're going to see the sales invoice Excel template. If you are running a small business where you are selling products to your customers, most likely you would have the need to create invoices and send them to your customers about the orders that you receive and fulfilled to your customers. So use this free Excel template to create professional looking invoices and you can use this one template to create any number of invoices and then store and manage them very, very easily. In this video, we are going to see the different features of this template and also how you can easily create sales invoices for your small business very, very quickly. Now let's go take a look at the template. So this is the settings sheet in our Excel template where we have some instructions on how to initially set this up for our small business and also how we can create invoices on an ongoing basis. Now, the business information is where we begin by entering the details about our business and this will be used to populate the invoice later. Now, in the product sheet, we will enter the list of our products. I've already entered about 10 products here. Basic information such as product ID or number and then the name of the product, description, price of the product and then unit of measurement and whether the product is taxable or not. If it is not taxable, just say no. If it is taxable, just leave it blank. And a, a, a field where you can enter any information about your uh, product and you can also add more columns to the right as you see the need and uh, there is no limit to it. You can, add in, you can add columns to store more information about your products. Then we go to the customer sheet where we have the list of our customers, specifically the customer ID, and then the key here is the customer name, which should be unique, and then the shipping address, billing address, contact information, and similarly, you can add more columns or uh, rename the custom field to store information about your customers. And you can add more rows and create more and more customers as you have the need. So for now, I'm going to just keep with these customers and these products and then let's go and see how we can create the invoices. The invoice sheet is where we will be customizing how the invoice would look so that it matches our specific small business brand. So first we will do is to use the change picture option to change the logo image to choose a logo for your small business. And if you don't have one or if you don't want to use one, just click it and then delete it. It'll go away. This is the first step and then we can uh, see whether the customer data here that is displayed is the way you would want the invoice to look. For example, I have the billing address first and then the shipping address. You can easily change this if you would like shipping address first and then the billing address next. So this is how easy it is to customize. We are not seeing any data yet, uh, but the once we start entering the data or for example if i choose my customer here you will see that the shipping address comes at the top and the billing address and then all these contact information and you can, all these fields are customizable so that you can decide which order you want them to appear or if you don't want something to appear just hit delete nothing happens um, it, it will just remove that from display and you'll be able to use the invoice in this form so it's very easy to customize these things. Now, invoice date and payment due dates are the specific dates um, that you would enter, um, but you can also enter more information by just plain typing in, for example, order date or something like that, where, where whatever information you would want for the in, on the invoice to be displayed. The next section is the products section. Here is also there is options to customize it for example if i don't want the description here i want the name product name of the product here you could change that uh, in this field this field is also customizable these are not customizable Th this is something which um, you would enter the quantity and the discount for the specific product and these things last three are automatically calculated so the main point here is in the invoice sheet we are basically setting it up so that it meets our business needs and if for example in your business that standard tax rate is 10 percent then you would change this to 10 percent and then um, you know if the if you don't give any discounts then you can just remove these two things so that the discounts don't appear and if you don't have any other charges like shipping charges or something like that then you could remove this as well so that it doesn't appear but if you do have those then you can definitely use these options to set them up so that um, it's very easy to create um, 
you know, invoices with those details in the future when you need them. We have the notes and if you have a standard note or comment that you want to give to your customer, then you can um, definitely type them in in the notes um, place. And uh, the footer basically will have the contact information for your business. Now, this is the look of the invoice right now and you can definitely modify the formatting if you want a different color background then you can definitely select the cells or select this and then change the font if you want a different font you can definitely customize all those things there is no restriction on all of these and then once you have the the invoice sheet looking the way that you would prefer to look then then you go ahead and uh, create copies so i'm going to remove this customer because i don't want this customer to show up on every invoice and so I can go ahead and then I'm gonna now create my first invoice. And just before this video, I had already created one, but I'm gonna start a new one so that we can see live how this works. I'm gonna do move or copy and then move to the end, create a copy. And what I'm going to do is to create a new invoice. Let's say our invoice is one. So I put in one in the invoice number here. I would recommend to also name your sheet the same as your invoice number so that you can easily uh, track them or you can say inv underscore one uh, or something like that where it's consistent with the reference to your invoice number so let me just say one so this basically would be my invoice number one and for this specific invoice i can choose my customer automatically appears i'm going to type in my dates here quickly invoice date and then let me say payment due date and then now comes the time to select my products for my invoice and you can choose from this drop down menu from the list of products that you had entered in the product sheet let's say i want to have these three products and then let's say this is 10 units 5 units 15 units and then i am giving a discount here of two dollars so now it will become twelve dollars and then um, if i want this to be a discount of one dollar then that reduces these are automatically calculated for us amount before tax you can also customize this to say i want to show amount after tax if that's what you would like to do and uh, let me just do that amount after tax so now amount after tax will show if i want to go back i'll do that and at the bottom you have the subtotals and then the tax will be automatically calculated you can definitely change the tax rate anytime in any specific sheet the discount amount can vary from one sheet to sheet so let's say i want to do it as percentage and i'm going to say 0 0.05 this is something you need to keep in mind when you're doing a five percent discount um, instead of typing five you should actually type 0 0.05 and then that will apply five percent automatically do that let's say this is shipping charges so i'm going to call shipping 15 and then it gets added we get the order total so now we have completed the invoice very, very quickly. And now you can go ahead and say file print and you can see how it looks. And then you can go ahead and print if that's what you want, or you can hit export and export it to PDF if you would like to create a PDF and then send it to your customer. My recommendation is that you always create a PDF and then store that PDF in one folder, all your invoices in one folder. When you create PDFs, remember to name the PDF also with the invoice number so that it will be easier for you to search in the future if you need. Um, it's always good to save it as PDF because it's a then it's a frozen copy of what the invoice was at the time and that is always recommended. Now, we have created one invoice and it's very easy. You go back to your invoice sheet and then again do a move or copy move it to the end, create a copy, and now if you want to name it two, name it two, and then start entering this basic information about the invoice. Now you're ready to create your second invoice. So you can create an invoice just within a couple of minutes uh, at the most, uh, and the template can handle up to 20 different items or products in uh, one invoice. And each of these invoices can be customized and formatting, uh, and uh, other elements of formatting that Excel allows to change the font, color, background, bold, and all these things, column widths, all of these are fully customizable in this template. So now one of the things I didn't cover initially is about the currency formatting. So when you download a copy of this template, by default, there will not be any currency formatting. For example, 
these fields um, the discount or the price these will actually act be just numbers and not currency formatted that's because I want to make sure that it can be used by any country in any any small business in any country uh, and customize it to their own um, currency format so by default it will not be having any currency so the uh, you can customize it very very easily in just a couple of steps so do control G and then go to CURR for currency click OK now all these cells where we need to change the currency or where we need to apply currency formatting will automatically get selected now we do control 1 and then here is where you can customize it to any other um, you know I'm gonna just randomly select something which is not a dollar for example uh, let me say Japanese and I'm gonna hit OK and now automatically Excel will apply the the specific format to all these cells so this is how you can customize it for any currency anywhere. Now let's do a quick wrap up. So in this video, we saw how we can create professional looking invoices for sales uh, using the simple Excel template. We can customize the template to design the invoice as we want. And also it can handle uh, some of the more common features like taxes and discounts at different levels. And also it's very, very easy to manage all this data in one file and you can create PDFs out of it and store those PDFs for record. And then um, you can you can create multiple invoices in the same workbook so that it's all in one place. And also this approach makes it very, very fast to create new invoices. As we saw, we can create an invoice within a couple of minutes and we are ready to go. So it saves a lot of time as a small business, uh, especially because this is something which will happen often in small business. And so we want to make sure that we have this process fully under control and optimized so that it doesn't take up a lot of our time. If you like this template, please share. And if you have any questions about how this template works or whether you have any uh, suggestions to improve the features, please leave them in the comments. I look forward to your feedback and um, please subscribe to the channel if you find these templates helpful. Thank you very much for watching this video.